Let's go. It's your boy, Yoda Bang. Back with y'all with another one, man. Broke the Riches TV, man. And today, we have on the menu, 1090 Jake. 1090 Jake tripping with, tripping with Kodak Black. Him and going, Kodak Black been going back and forth, man. Kodak, look out. 1090 Jake, man. We need you to calm down. Pump the brakes, man. Pump the brakes, man. You been doing a lot. Been doing a lot. I understand that you coming out with paperwork. Look like right now you trying to divide and conquer. You showed and found your way in the culture. In the culture. I don't know how you been raised. You say you from Boston. You say you moved down to Florida. We don't know how you raised. You look like a, you know what I'm saying, infiltrator. Mm-hmm. You look like an infiltrator, homeboy. You done went off on Boston Richie. You know what I'm saying? You did his paperwork. He on your neck. He done dish you in the song. You know what I mean? He on your neck. He, you, got, you got them type of problems. He got finesse two times type of problems. Come on, stop it, brother. You got to calm down, man. 1090 Jake, turn that down. Turn that down. I know you've been hanging out with Adam 21. I don't know what he done told you, what y'all done said behind closed doors, but you need to calm down, bro. You're doing too much, man. Come on, man. Doing way too much. I'm tired of it. I gotta call you out about it. I can't be doing this no more. I can't. I can't go for it no more. Every time you come, you got paperwork. Where you getting your information from, man? I'm starting to think you a rat, undercover. I think you. I think you got some paperwork. You need to come out and explain. You. You got that paperwork on your auntie or something. You just stole some type of guns down in Florida, man. You got some paperwork on you. We need to. We need to clear up on that. We need you to clear that up, man. Stay out of people's business, man. Stay out of the culture business. The culture going through some boosty over there, tripping with code. That they they got something going on. We don't need no ten ninety J kidding in between this here, man. For real. I hear you talking about, oh yeah, when he was up and locked up, he was, you know what I mean, hanging out with the bloods and he was talking about cruelty by the officer, by the COs. He was getting done in by the CO. You talking about that snitching or something like that, man. Look here, man. Stay out the way. You know what I mean? Stay out the way. Let Kodak, let Kodak, you know what I'm saying? Because when them zoes get up on you, you know what I'm saying? When them zoes get up on you, yeah, you're going to wave the white flag. You're going to wave the white flag because they're going to be on your ass. Facts, man. Every time we look around, there's somebody else trying to bite the coach, trying to get a couple pennies off the coach. Let's stop that now. <clears throat> Let's stop that now, 1090. Jay, get up off of us, man. Figure something else out, man. We ain't the only one that got paperwork. Black, you know, the black folks ain't the only one that got paperwork. We got to go do everybody paperwork, man. Yeah. You got to call out other people when they wrong, too. Yeah. Instead of running down on us, tripping with us every time you get a chance. Everybody feeling that? 1090 Jack, we need answers, man. What's up with your paperwork? We need answers for you. We ain't fit to hold our tongue on you. Yeah. And you done did too much now. And that's Kodak Black. That's Finesse Two Time Man, Boston Richie. One of them boys gonna get up with you. Yeah. One of them boys gonna get up with you. I don't know what's, I don't know what set you down with. Look, <coughs> yo, the bang coming. I come in peace. I come in peace. I don't do no tripping. But you need to handle your business, bro. We can't be handling that up <coughs> off camera. But you gotta handle your licking, bro. Soon you can't wait to jump. Soon as you've seen something trendy, you going back and you doing an investigation. You gotta be the FBI of feds or something. Who you? The DEA? Yeah. You gotta be an intruder. You gotta be a plant, man. You gotta be undercover. Something. Because it ain't working out, man. Seriously. Seriously, I can't stand you. I used to like you back in the day when you was doing your end of sentence, that EOS shit that you was doing. That was cool. That was all right. I felt that. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But when you started, it seemed like you started call yourself exposing people. You know what I mean? But you're only exposing one kind of person. One kind of people. Come on, man. We did not really allow you in the culture, bro. You need to. Respect it, man. We done allowed you into this, man. You got to respect the game, man. 
You ain't got no shots over here. You ain't you can't make no rules over here. You can't make nobody do nothing. You can't make nothing move around here, bro. It ain't going out like that. No, cut it. Cut it. But you look like you're ready for some people to crash out. You look like you're about ready to get some somebody 40 years, 100 years. Yeah, you'll send one of them boys on them youngsters on one of them missions. I mean, it's good for you to understand, to let people know that the, how the game is rigged. You know what I mean? How snitches is out here in this part of the game. But snitching always been part of the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you wouldn't be doing this for free, y'all. This is about a monetization game. You getting paid to do this. That's the reason why you presented it. I understand it. But still, at the same time, you everything got consequences. So when you bump your head, you know what I'm saying? You gonna bump your head. And when you do, you gonna have to answer some questions. Just saying, you gonna have to answer some questions. You know? Hey, <clears throat> I'm just the messenger. It's a lot of shicey shit going on up in this industry. A lot of bullshit going on in this industry. You know what I mean? Everybody, the Adam 22s of the world, the uh, the uh, the 1090 Jakes of the world, them only two that I can name off the top of my head. I feel like them two, men they biting. They, wanna, they just want to stir up trouble. Every time some bullshit going on, they want to ask you. They want you to indict yourself. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get on the as soon as you get on their platform, I mean, get on the platform with Adam 22, he want to ask you some beef. You got problems with this person. You got problems with that person, man. First thing he's going to ask you. As soon as you get in there, that's what he's going to ask you. Oh, man, I heard you this and this and that. You know what I mean? Trying to get you to get in the investigation. Get on the investigation. We already know the hip-hop police is real. We know that. So we got to watch. You gotta watch these people out here, and you got people like 1090 Jack, you know what I mean? And him and Adam 22, they like this one doing this, the other one doing the other. You know what I'm saying? One is supposed to be exposed to the rest, the other one's gonna stir up the pots between all the gangsters. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, Adam 22, I don't like how y'all been trying to handle my nigga Milk over there, man. I fuck with Milk TV, man. Everybody, y'all go fuck with Milk TV. I fuck with Milk TV, man. Y'all need to, you need to stay up off of my boy like that, man. Y'all tripping. Because he applied pressure on you boys. Yeah. That's the only reason why. Yeah, because he applying pressure on you boys. He All he doing is keeping it 1,000. Because nigga get you a little bread. As soon as nigga get you one of them paychecks, everybody want to. Oh, yeah, massa. Big baby over there. All them boys over there now. And, and sharpen them over there. All the yes, massa. Oh, yes, man. You got to call a nigga out when he wrong, man. Right, you gotta call your partner now when he wrong. <clears throat> call yourself a friend. You call yourself a friend. Call your partner now when he wrong, man. Real talk, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. That's what you're praying for. That's what being a friend is for. Being a brother is for. Being a partner is for. You gotta call your man out when he right or wrong. You gotta ride with him right or wrong too. But just because you riding with him right or wrong, that don't mean you can't call him out when he right or wrong either. But I'm that type of nigga. I'm gonna ride with you right or wrong. But after we do this wrong, I'm going to let you know I wasn't feeling that shit, bro. Yeah, I'm going to let you know about it. After we didn't did what we had to do, yeah, but I'm going to let you know about it. This right here wasn't cool. This shit can't happen again. For real. And that's what the industry is. The industry is a bunch of just some fake shit. bunch of fake niggas, fake shit going on, fake diamonds, fake beef. Fake real niggas, fake game bangers, fake OGs, fake rich niggas. It's full of fake shit. Kids stay in school. Stay in school. That's all I can tell you.